So I had a situation whereby if I put a current through a wire, it becomes temporarily magnetic. And if that wire is in and around another permanent magnet, it causes some movement. The obvious question to ask kids is how can I get it to move in a different direction? Hopefully they will think about turning the magnet round. Now it's being pushed downwards. You may actually be able to hear a hum. Um, we'll, have a, we'll have a think about what, what's causing that hum in a bit, perhaps. But it's causing a hum. If I now want it to go back up again, I don't have to reverse the magnetic field. I can flick the direction of the current and it goes up. Now, what is it that governs whether it's going to go up or down? Well, that's Fleming's left hand rule. Now, I'm going to turn it back to the way that it was. Fleming's left hand rule tells us that if we've got current flowing in this direction, in a magnetic field in that direction, we'll find a force going up. So it's called Fleming's left hand rule because we're using our left hand. Now, let's have a look at this situation here. But before we do that, I'm going to write on my hand F for force, B, which stands for magnetic field, I, which stands for current. So I've got F, B and I. Now, which direction is the current passing through this wire? Well, current goes from positive, which is usually denoted by red, so it goes from positive, move around, positive is going in that direction, along the direction of the wire. The force it's feeling is up, so my thumb is the force that it's feeling up. So in this case, the magnetic field is going towards you, towards the camera. 